this preview is a sample from the full tutorial which lasts for about an hour. The screen will intermittently go dark as we jump from one sample to the next. This tutorial covers subjects in the area of dermatology, covering common acute presentations 28 in the curriculum, which is the area of rash. We're going to start off, as we usually do, with five questions. Question one. A six-year-old boy has been brought to the paediatric emergency Question 2. A 30-year-old female attends the emergency department with an... So in this tutorial, these are the subjects we're going to cover. But we're going to cover quite a lot of ground and a whole range of, of dermatological conditions which cover the various issues that we've looked at just a moment ago in the curriculum. Nasal carriage. Many people have colonisation of the front of the nose with staphylococci it can spread from there to eczema and cause this pustular eruption and sometimes it can be quite a low grade infection and it can just appear as eczema which doesn't get better with steroids a much more serious complication of eczema is eczema herpeticum where her in 90 percent of those who have psoriasis it's just a skin condition and the classic appearance is what we see in the picture here with silvery scales over a red, sharply demarcated surface. Let's start off by looking at the treatment. So there's three main stages to treatment for psoriasis in most people. Let's now move on to the most serious manifestation of an allergic reaction, that is anaphylaxis. This arises generally where you have mast cell degranulation. So mast cells through the skin, in the respiratory tract, through the gut, and in various other organs contain granules with histamine, bradykinins, and other um, vasoactive mediators, and which have IgE antibodies. Erythema nodosum is not a common condition particularly, but it does occasionally present to emergency departments, and it's a popular exam question because of the number of different conditions that can lead to this painful swelling in the shin. The image on the right here shows a variant of cellulitis known as erysipelas. This is distinct from cellulitis in some cases, but sometimes it's more difficult to know which of the two it is. And its characteristics are that it has a clearer edge to it. The curriculum indicates that we need to know about the important skin cancers that might present to us in emergency medicine. Now in practice, they're most likely to be incidental findings. They're unlikely to be a primary presentation to emergency medicine. Now melanoma, of course, is the most important because of its relatively high mortality, particularly in the more... So let's finish by going back over the five questions that we looked at at the beginning of this tutorial. Now the first one was about a six-year-old child whose eczema has become worse. That ends this preview. If you would like to see the whole tutorial, details of how to access this and to add it to your account are available on the website. And let's just particularly look at the back of the vertebral bodies. Here's the top five and here's the bottom five and we can see that they